where the Easter Bunny is from. Let's just pick up the interview without. I mean, hopefully YouTube doesn't catch that and like uh, disable the videos and oh, try to upload sure. it or something like that. For sure. They, yeah. Uh, All right. Thanks a lot, He's brother. gonna call the uh, fascist fucking uh, nihilists that run uh, Easter. Well, do I get my interview or what? Uh, you, you can interview me while he does that. All right. Well, thank you for your being so gracious. Yeah. No. Uh, no, your interview is over. No, dude. we we just uh, we'll do the interview with that in the background because I'm sure that uh, let's take this up with security up there. Tell him that the Easter Bunny guy was wrapping you up. So. He he's calling the he gave me a corporate fucking office. Bunk extension is what he did. He's all call this number uh, and all it is is a, a pre-recorded. Uh, whatever, man. <laughs> Like we're just we're in the fucking mall in fucking Capitola, the only mall we go to. This is our mall home. Uh, the only other mall we've been to, I think. Uh, good friend Brandon Modesto took us to the Modesto Mall one time. Perfect. We're getting through. Uh, but this is the one. Maybe it's that it's so close to your house, and it's where I come to like take a shit in the morning when I'm sleeping in the van. But, uh, uh, hot dog on a stick. They got that here. Cheese on the stick. Uh, and I just found out about Tuesday, hot dog on a stick for a dollar. Hot dog on a stick Tuesdays. So we're gonna have to book some Tuesday shows. Yeah, so. I mean, instead of this Monday. Hey, Tony. So how do you guys play so many shows? Uh, just because we, we can. You know, a lot of people think you can't, but you know, like we played, we drove 10 hours to play open mic night the other night. Yeah, what do you do if you have a can if a show double books you and you have an open night, you have you have no plans, but you're out of town. We go to open mic night. We sign up on our little list and we say, uh, hey, we're gonna play, and they're like, you know, we don't tell them. We we tell them we're a band, but you know. They don't know what we're gonna do. What's up? Uh, fucking. They uh. They don't know. So we were gonna see how it is that we get around you having the rights to the Easter Bunny to conduct an interview. If you could please call me back. This is a serious matter, by the way. Number is five four one five one five nine two seven four. Thank you very much for your time. Fucking fascist. I want to get down with the Easter Bunny. I mean, who does that? You want to talk to guest services about it? She looks like she wants to talk. Right? Uh, well, I don't remember what I was talking about, but it doesn't matter. It wasn't that important. Uh, you guys, on your on your nights when you get you can, don't have a show, you go to an open mic, you sign up. Wow, what are people's reactions to a two-piece metal band crashing an open mic? Uh, they're, they're, they're like, you, you know, ever been like shut down? They I tell mean, you you can't do it? So they want us to use their equipment, and and anyone who's seen us play knows that I use my own equipment because I just trash drums. And I use my own shit because your shit probably doesn't sound like my shit's supposed to sound like. It's probably like a Fender fucking. But uh, and then they're like, they argue with us for like ten minutes, and then finally it's like okay. Bring your equipment, but there's other people that want to play and sign up. And so then we start playing. And we keep playing, and then people go from this to this, to toe tapping, to stepping forward, and then the next thing you know, they're ripping up the page to sign up for open mic night. And we're like, don't rip it up, we want to hang it on the wall. Yeah. But, uh, you know, by the end of the night, there's, it's usually a drunken fiasco, and everyone has a good time. 
How can people find out about your band and find out about your shows so they can witness and go to the shows. call you out on go the, the plethora of lies that you have said go in this interview? Pretty shows. much make an assumption that if you live uh, in a place, I'll make this easy for we're you. We're gonna be there. I'll make this easy like, for you. You know, five four one five one five nine two seven four. You can call me up and you can ask me anything you fucking want. You guys on Chump Space or Gay, yeah, yeah. gay Book or uh, any social networking site, you will find the Atheist. How, how do you spell it? T H H. Here, help me out with the other side of the H, dude. H E E uh, A A T R. Oh wait, T H E A R A T I A R R. C C H, H I I S S T T S. S. All right. A T H I A R C H I S T S. Atheists. Yeah, MySpace slash that, or just type yeah. it in on YouTube and you'll see like all the nineties. It usually has the vibe. Uh, are there any other bands that share the name with you? Fuck no. And no. if there were, then they'd be fucking dipshits because they'd know that fucking. Uh, We'll cut off yeah, your fucking yeah, dick. Yeah, we'll cut off their fucking dick. We'll cut dick, your fucking dude. dick There's off. There's no other fucking... Man? I mean, we are a, a one, two-piece band, man. And uh, we plan to, you know, uh, keep it that way, you know? Uh, there's no... no uh, be, be... This interview's over.